We're very honored to have been sent a message by Matsui Kazumi, the mayor of the city of Hiroshima, on the occasion of the Peace Cranes pre-exhibition events commemorating the 75th anniversary of the atomic bombing of Hiroshima. Peace Cranes is an initiative of the Edinburgh Peace and Justice Centre. It's a touring contemporary arts exhibition about the cultural legacy of Hiroshima, which will feature new and existing works by international artists and filmmakers, alongside an artist's installation comprising 140,000 origami peace cranes. The exhibition will launch in August 2021 as part of the Just Festival, Edinburgh International Fringe Festival, and tour to London and internationally thereafter. More information can be found on the Edinburgh Peace and Justice Centre website. The Mayor's message will now be read out by my colleague, actor Yuri Yamanaka. A message from the Mayor of Hiroshima. It is an honour and a pleasure to send this message on the occasion of the Peace Cranes Pre-Exhibition Online Events, August 2020. On August 6, 1945, the first atomic bomb used in human warfare reduced Hiroshima to rubble in an instant, claiming countless innocent civilian lives. Despite suffering deep physical and emotional scars, the Hibakusha, who managed to survive, tell their stories, continuously appealing for peace with their conviction, no one else should suffer as we have. However, more than 13,000 nuclear warheads still remain in the world, and nuclear disarmament is at a standstill. Furthermore, despite global solidarity becoming ever more important in the fight against COVID-19, a new kind of threat to all of humanity, we see self-centered nationalism in ascendance and tensions heightened by international exclusivity and rivalry around the world today. Our current leaders must recall their courageous predecessors when nuclear superpowers, the US and USSR, were engaged in a tense escalating nuclear arms race. Their leaders manifested reason and a turn to dialogue to seek disarmament. Leaders around the world should pursue negotiations on nuclear disarmament in good faith, as mandated by Article 6 of the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, and respond to the yearning of civil society for the entry into force of the treaty on the prohibition of nuclear weapons a milestone on the road to a nuclear weapon-free world. To achieve a peaceful, sustainable world, each and every one of us must confront our current situation head-on, transcend differences of status or opinion, and strive together in the spirit of tolerance toward our ideal. To accomplish this, we must never dismiss the atomic bombings and the war as mere events of the past. It is vital that we internalize the progress the Hibakusha and others have made toward a peaceful world and drive steadfastly forward. In order for world leaders to move forward together with them, to advance civil society's ideal, it is of increasing importance that we raise the number of people in civil society who emphasize with the plea of the Hibakusha. A world free from nuclear weapon is the first step toward peace on earth, and this concept must become a universal value shared by all humankind. It is, therefore, truly significant that you have organized this event to appeal for the abolition of nuclear weapons and extend to you my deepest respect. The city of Hiroshima, 
together with more than 7,900 mayors for peace member cities from 164 countries and regions, intends to create an environment that encourages world leaders to take steps toward nuclear abolition. I would like to ask all of you to mobilize with us and strive to eliminate the absolute evil that is nuclear weapons to realize lasting world peace. In closing, I extend my best wishes for the great success of the event as well as the good health and happiness of all concerned. August 6, 2020, Matsui Kazumi, Mayor, the city of Hiroshima. <laughs>